Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Um, today we're going to install um, this wall mount I've got here for my new Starlink setup that we got a few weeks ago. I uh, got this from a company, starlink.co.nz, not officially associated with SpaceX, but they've got the .co.nz address. Um, $118, uh, and we're going to stick it up here on the fascia of this roof here, just kind of like that, and then chuck the dish up on top of it. Right, so as you can currently see, I've got the uh, we've got a Generation 3 Starlink dish here set up just on the deck at the moment, which has been working fine. Got it about three weeks ago, but obviously not ideal long term. So we're going to chuck it up on the wall mount. So the first thing we have to do is remove the Ethernet cable out of there, uh, and then take off the kickstand and attach this bracket here for mounting it on top of the pole. All right, so I just need to pull this cable out of the back here like that and then to remove this kickstand you push it down like that it's got a little kind of place under here for hooking your fingers up to if I pull on that and it should lift up and slide out like that and then we now need to take this bracket and click it into place just like that done Right, so I've just placed that up there and used the existing holes to put a little pencil mark where I want to drill my holes for my screws. So we'll just chuck that up there now and drill those holes. So I've just got my first one screwed in loosely there just to hold it in place um, so I can manoeuvre, I still you know, haven't done it tight so I can manoeuvre it around and still get my other ones in there. Um, when it came with it or when it turned up out of the post it had these 100mm long hex head screws um, which are too long to go through this piece of fascia here which is only 45mm thick so I went out and bought some of these 45mm hex heads. Um, which will be perfect for doing the job. So let's get those in now. Again, I won't do it fully tight. Oh, drop that one on the floor. Um, just so I've got some maneuverability in there to get the other ones in. I'll just get that one I dropped on the ground there. Tuck it in there and then line it up and tighten them. That looks pretty good. So now we just need to get our dish up on top here. So just as I said that, um, we've had a big, well, I could see the uh, the rain clouds in the distance. We actually had a couple of thunder peels come through um, as I was filming that bit of video. Um, and so I knew it was coming. And, and just as I'd finished screwing that uh, mount off, it's, uh, it's hit. So it's uh, pissing down with rain outside. So I'm going to take a little break before I put that dish up and I'll tell you the story of um, why we've ended up getting Starlink in the first place. So um, we had a VDSL um, uh, broadband at this place for, for years and years, no, no problems at all. Um, and uh, it, it used to sit up, the modem used to sit up here on the fridge because it came in through the phone line down there on the floor below the fridge. Um, and, you know, it worked well for years and years, but over about the last 18 months, it seemed to become uh, less and less reliable with um, dropouts. Um, we upgraded the modem um, a few months ago, and that made some difference, but not a heck of a lot of difference. Uh, and we were considering getting uh, Starlink because it knew some people had got it and said it was good, um, and just kind of was put off by the uh, initial setup price. Um, but then what happened was um, we had, as you can see here, there's this lovely storage system going on here. 
um, with the microwave on top of the fridge, and then we've got other things on top of the microwave. Uh, and I had um, a uh, TP-Link Deco mesh Wi-Fi unit sitting on top of the microwave here with the modem here, chucking stuff, heating up in the microwave, and every time you shut the door, that TP-Link just got shifted a little bit further to the back of the microwave until eventually one day someone was heating up a muffin, something like that, shut the door, falls off, hits the modem, knocks the modem off down here, yeah, dangling on the cord, um, what did it actually do? What did it actually done? It snapped off where the power supply went into the modem, um, disconnected it from the solder, and so that modem was kaput. So that was kind of the uh, impetus for getting Starlink, um, and which is why I'm now trying to set it up. So you can now see here we've got our new Starlink modem set up, um, and along with the uh, mesh Wi-Fi unit, um, in a much less pre precarious position on top of the uh, subwoofer of our surround sound unit there. And if it falls off that, it'll be straight onto the carpet and there should be no dramas whatsoever. Right, so that rain's passed over now. Um, and so what I've got to do is put this bracket on. Um, I had to un undo that from the, the dish, I realised, because I've got to feed through this cable here and plug it into the dish um, before I kind of click that in place. So we've got this little slot in the mount here for feeding the um, Ethernet cable through. Goes in up there, push it through, pops out the top, and then we need to feed it up through here and out the top of this bracket. Uh, we've got a little plastic sleeve that slots around that and slots over your, your pole and then the plastic bracket slots over the sleeve, something like that. We'll just give this a bit of a tighten, just a hand tighten to start off with until I kind of get everything in place. I'll pull that through so it doesn't disappear on me while I'm going to get the dish. And then I'll go and get the dish and put it, slot it into place. Alrighty, got the dish. So now I need to plug this cable back in here. And then click this into place. Which. <laughs> oh, there we go, that's better. I can feel it click now. Uh, and to undo it, it's just got these two little screws here. Um, so you just undo those and they kind of stick down and, and stop it sliding back and forth. So when you unscrew them out of it, it can slide off that bracket. So um, it's a matter of turning Starlink back on now uh, and positioning the disc for the optimal reception through the app. So I'll do that. Uh, and then what I need to do is take this wire here and um, put some cable clips on it so that it's all nicely fixed into place. Okay, I've just got one more cable clip that I want to put in there. And as luck would have it, that's actually the last cable clip I've got left in my supply of cable clips. So it's worked out perfectly. Um, so I'm just going to pull the slack through uh, down here along underneath the weatherboards there and back up into the house um, so that it's not hanging loose like it currently is. Right, as you can see we've got this last little bit of slack here that just needs to be pushed back up inside the house. Uh, there was an existing hole in the floor where the old broadcast TV aerial went through. Um, I don't think we've ever had broadcast TV in the time that we've lived here. 
that's always been streaming TV. Uh, and so uh, I got rid of the aerial not so long ago. Uh, and all that's left of that was the hole in the floor. So I've used that to poke the Starlink cable through. So we'll go back up into the house and uh, just tidy it up. All right, there's the hole in the floor with the cable coming up through. So I'll just pull that tight and then push the rest behind the entertainment unit. So there you go, there's the Starlink dish successfully mounted on this wall mount. The wall mount does seem like it's made out of good quality materials and it's certainly solid there. Uh, I'm not entirely happy in that it's done up kind of as tight as it can go with the little um, bolt and nut set up there, tightening it onto the pole and there is still, you can see there's movement there. So um, I think you know, I might have to pack that out with something I'm not exactly sure what yet, maybe a little bit of rubber, another rubber sleeve or something in there, just so that holds tighter onto the pole, um, but we'll have a think about that, and I'll do that at another time, and I guess the uh, the other thing that remains to be seen is whether it's cyclone proof, um, so I guess I'll have to wait for the next cyclone to come through, and see if it's still up here the following morning, so uh, I'll let you know uh, when that happens. Otherwise, uh, we'll see you next time here on Master of None NZ. So we didn't get a cyclone, but what we did get was this, which was a pretty good blow. And as you can see, the dish is still up there on the mount, uh, in place, pointing in the right direction and still giving us a great internet reception. Uh, if you enjoyed this content, please hit the like button, subscribe, uh, and I really appreciate all your support.